Coming up next, are you a re-gifter? If you are, you'd better stick to the rules of re-gifting with our etiquette expert, Diane Gotsman will explain next. Go, well, welcome back to San Antonio Living. We are on the verge of the holidays and the presents are coming in left and right. Are you going to re-gift them? That is our question this morning. Diane Gottsman is our etiquette expert, and she is joining us with basically the rules when mm -hmm. it comes to re-gifting. It's good to see you. Thank you for having me. Did you hear that survey American Express did? 73% of people surveyed admitted to re-gifting. They like to do it. Mm -hmm but they don't tell their husbands that they're re-gifting. They, I didn't hear that. They yes. don't tell their husbands? No, they re-gift behind the husband's back. Was it a gift that the husband gave? Yes. Okay, <laughs> there you go. I'm with him. <laughs> don't tell, don't tell. We'll see if that's in your rules this morning. Number one, you say use good judgment. The, your first rule of thought when you were about to re-gift is mm -hmm. to do no harm. Okay. So you do not want to re-gift in the same circle of friends right. because they're gonna find out. So you always think about about, will they ask me if I like it? Will they want to see it? Will they want mm -hmm. me to put my meat on it like a platter? People mm -hmm. get platters. That's a big re-gift. Oh, is and a then platter. they expect you to pull, where's my platter? Where's my platter? <laughs> so be very careful and think carefully before re-gifting. Okay, okay. And you also say don't re-gift an item that has sentimental value or something that um, is an heirloom, a family heirloom. Who would re-gift that to begin with? Though? Well, it, it, it may not necessarily have sentimental value to you. Ah. So if someone gives you something with sentimental value, thinking they're giving you something fabulous, and you look at it and wonder what to do with it. So always make sure to, to put it away, and when they come, I can say, shh. And you say, Diane, where is that brooch I gave you <laughs> from Grandma Sarah? And I'm going to say, well, here it is. You know, and I'm going right, to take so. it out of the box and show it to you, and then I'm going to put it away until next That's year. That's right. Okay. Okay. Makes sense. You uh, also say, don't re-gift ugly. Okay. If it's ugly, it's ugly. Okay. So if a re-gift should be something that you want to give them out of the thoughtful nature and okay. the goodness of your heart. But if okay. it's ugly, mm -hmm. why would you want to re-gift it? Uh, you don't even want to donate it if it's <laughs> something that's scratchy and itchy and ugly. So, yeah, I okay. don't know what you do with it. Burn it. <laughs> what if it's something where it's maybe not your taste, but it's someone else's taste? Right. You may think it's ugly, but it, it just it's not scratched up or anything like that. Right. Well, okay, that's that gray line. So we really know when it's something, you know, and that's the beauty mm -hmm. of a re-gift. Mm -hmm. You want to re-gift, you can re-gift something that is not necessarily your taste, but it's usable and it's nice. I, when I say ugly, I mean dirt ugly. Okay. okay? <laughs> <laughs> it happens. It happens. Okay, if anyone gets a fruit cake, I like it, you can re-gift it to me. Yeah, oh, that's yeah, right. Totally yeah. <laughs> uh, another thing to keep in mind, don't re-gift something that has a company logo on it. So you have the the cup, uh, the, the mugs gift. that I talk about all the time. And you know, mugs are great, but mm -hmm. I don't like to receive mugs for mm -hmm. holidays. Did I give this to you a few years ago? I'm pretty <laughs> yes, sure you I did. did. I brought it Full back. of candy. Because and it, here it is, making it its appearance. It feels like a thoughtless, <laughs> quick gift that no one put any thought in. Yes, you gave that to me for holidays. I, 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 I didn't put Did you at least put some candy it. in? I did. Yeah, I think okay, I put candy good. in it. Right. It, feels, <laughs> it feels too markety. Right. So you can give it, just don't give it as a holiday gift. It, okay. It seems when someone else gives us a gift and we don't have something for them, that's when we rush to go, oh, I'm not going to use this and you re-gift something really quickly. It's you the, say, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't rush mm -hmm. to, to re-gift. Just say thank you. And if you want to give them a gift later, mm -hmm. that's the time to, to think about it. And you know, I'm not saying don't re-gift. I'm just saying re-gift with caution okay so we'll we've got a few things that we'll talk about here in a minute this is a good a good tip write a note on your re-gift so you know who it came from so you don't accidentally re-gift it to the right the wrong person so if Shelly gave me the ugly gift and I don't know what to do with it but then I find out that Leslie actually loves that mm -hmm. you know I whatever that it is mug, so, so that's right I have a little note on it it's that yours. says 2013 <laughs> Shelly Miles mm -hmm. I'm not I could, and you don't want to re-gift in the same year because you know there is a there is an uh, especially if you're having a re-gifting party. What is that, by the well, way? Well, you know, I love this idea. A re-gifting party is meant to bring all of our good gifts 
that we can't use mm -hmm. and then let everybody choose from them. Oh, wow. But you don't oh, want to make, you don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. So I don't uh -huh. want to invite you and you, and both of you gave me the gift, and now I'm taking it for the re-gift re party. Hmm. Yeah. And so it's like, you didn't like that. You can wear your ugly sweater too. It's a little <laughs> different than white elephant, because the white elephant is fun, and they're kind of, that's where you get rid of that gift I was talking about and, earlier. And you always say honesty is the best policy. Does that mean if you get busted, go fess up? No. I mean, I'm going to say, <laughs> no. Okay, I'm going to say, because this is my favorite re -gift. Now, I am fairly sure this was a re-gift. It's a hot dog rotator. Oh, Someone gave you it cook to a me. lot of it's, hot dogs. No, it's torn, and it has the price on it right here. Mm. But guess what? Someone gave it to me. I'm sure it was a re-gift. I'm just saying. But if I know you like, and I like hot dogs, so I'm not re-gifting it to you. Mm -hmm. But I would say, listen, I don't eat hot dogs. I know you're a hot dog fan. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to give this to you because someone gave it to me, and I hope oh, you enjoy I it. it. Well, thank you. So, but I want it back. <laughs> <laughs> you can also re-gift straight to charity, right? That's oh another my gosh. good way. That, if it is usable, if it's, it doesn't even have to be new. It has to be in great condition. Re-gift to charity because they can use it and you're doing a good thing. All right. You stick around because we've got more with you okay. coming up. <laughs> Diane Gottsman is our etiquette expert. Of course, you can find her with the Protocol School of Texas. She's right here in San Antonio. Very easy to get a hold of her. DianeGottsman.com or the phone number 826 74 100. Welcome back to San Antonio Living. We're keeping our etiquette expert, Diane Gottsman, around because you guys have a lot of questions this morning. You can post them on our Facebook. It's facebook.com slash news for SA. These are regarding the holidays. So are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, so this first question is from Robin. Robin wants to know, how do you not give a gift to someone you usually do, such as your housekeeper, your hairstylist, because maybe this year the finances are different? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to say to Robin that if you have a housekeeper, Mm -hmm. And your hairstylist, I, I I want you to do a little bit of something. Okay. It doesn't have to be a lot. It doesn't have to be in money, and, you know, dollars and cents. But it should be make the the hairstylist some cookies. Okay. The mm -hmm. housekeeper plan a little bit. You know, just a little something because you want to show them that you appreciate what mm -hmm. they do, and you are looking forward to a a good year of service because we tip based on our loyal, you know, the, the right. loyalty that service provider gives us. Okay. And it's not always the amount. It just shows that you, you care by Absolutely. baking something, do something mm -hmm. a little bit. It's, it's not about the amount. It's mm -hmm. just about thinking about them. Even if it's a thank you, a, a, a mm -hmm. holiday card and a thank you. That's, mm -hmm. that's something. Do a little something. And, and then another big question. I think this is a dilemma for a lot of people. Uh, one viewer posted, do I have to go to the holiday office party if I have a better offer to go out with <laughs> Friend. Who wants to know, Leslie? Who posted that? Don't say it out loud. <laughs> it's okay. a friend. Here is the answer. <laughs> loud and clear. The answer is you need to go to the holiday office party. Very okay. important. Okay. So right, the reason I wasn't at ours is because I had a volleyball tournament. <laughs> and I was at Addie's birthday party. I'm real go. sorry. Oh, you skipped it too? Boss is watching. Yeah. Go. That's go to the holiday work. office we party. We have to. Okay. Good to know. Because you know what? It's an extension of the office work day. Mm -hmm. It shows teamwork. It shows your boss that you care. Mm -hmm. And there might be a little bonus in it. And we you. had a really good office. Yeah. I heard it was, yeah. I heard it was rocking. Out, okay, we missed out. Mm -hmm. um, this one's from Janie. How do you make a Christmas dinner work if family members don't get along? Oh, gosh. Oh, I've got multiple answers to that question for okay. Janie. But I say, you know what? If you can, you try and have them separate and have a Christmas Eve and a Christmas Day or do something a little bit different. You try and keep them separate as much as possible without offending someone. Mm -hmm. And if you have to have them all together, and many, many people do, you sit them at opposite ends of the table. You can you put place cards with people that you know that they're going to be conversationalists. And you really expect everyone to be adults and get along. You know, that's the bottom whoa, whoa, line. Whoa. You said we expect them to be adults. I, sometimes that doesn't happen. But good luck, because we know it's hard. We know <laughs> it it's hard. You do the best you can do. Absolutely. Okay, I've got another viewer. Allison wants to know, or sorry, Katie wants to know, how much do I tip the mailman? You do not tip your mailman. Katie, is it Katie? Mm -hmm. You don't tip your mailman because he or she cannot accept cash. You can give them a gift, small gift for under $20. What about the postman? Can, or, or, no, my paper boy. He your always, paper boy. He sends me a little envelope. And yes, mm -hmm. he wants money in it. And they suggest <laughs> how much you should give them. So I say you give them what you can give them, a little mm -hmm. something if they deliver your paper on time. Okay. Um, and, but, but if it says suggested 
gift fifty dollars. That doesn't mm -hmm. mean you have to give them fifty dollars. It could be That's five dollars mm -hmm. or ten dollars. That is a rich yes. paper boy. <laughs> yeah, you could just write on the envelope, Diane. Uh, <laughs> and I don't. Lie. <laughs> I love it. I love it. All great questions from the viewers this morning. Thank you for sticking around and answering those for us.